You're watching Mystery School, the, the first late night show on the net, with your hosts, Owen Bones and Tony B. Jr. Let's begin. Yes! It's that time once again. For the Mystery School stream on a Friday, can we please have one more round of question marks and or Mystery School Union emotes in the chat? That's all. That is I'll it. That around. is all. All oh, right. Let's get shit. this shit started. Welcome, 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 everybody. You already heard the question marks are flying They're through flying. the chat right now. Yes. Let Make them yourselves lose. comfy. Let them loose. I'm about to play Spotify way too loud. There we go. Okay. Thanks for being here, everyone. You know the deal. Mystery School stream on a Friday. That was the DJ mix. We got letters from the class coming up in a second. If you ever want to write into the stream, question mark Discord in the chat if you're not already in there. And click on the letters from the class section. After that, we're about to do the news. And if we hit our sub goal up here in the upper left-hand corner, we're going to do Sudden Death. The segment where we make a full song start to finish in under 30 minutes live right here on the stream. And you get to pick the topic. I make the beat. I'm the beat man. He's the word man. And uh, you're the, the viewer person you got it you, you know? got it right you got it right and honestly uh since it's friday i figure we uh we, we take a special edition of reading some letters from the class tonight man it's the end of the week hell yeah so we'll pick some of our favorite letters that we've <laughs> seen throughout the week um there's a good selection man you guys have been writing some real crazy shit in here uh so some some things intelligent some things not so much but uh we love them all the same um we have a breaking question here that was just submitted uh, Anonymous asks, Tony, was you shitting before the stream? No, not me. We don't do that here at Mystery School Headquarters. We're... I don't... I don't shit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, also, I made you say that. Anyway, do you have any questions pulled up? I got a good one right here. Um, <laughs> oh, God, there's some really bad questions here. This one, honestly, is... Uh, this is a wholesome one right here. We'll get to some more... Uh, some more chaotic no, uh, letters in a second. But this one is wholesome. I want to help this person out. This okay. is from an anonymous author. This says, hey, guys, looking for some advice. I've been chilling with this girl for some months now, like a couple times a week. But I'm starting to run out of outfits. Oh, <laughs> I don't have money to buy new clothes every week. Should I start recycling outfits or what? Any advice is appreciated. Wait, first of all, let's establish this. Are there other people in the chat that feel the responsibility to literally buy new outfits to impress someone you've just started seeing because you'll have to start re-wearing outfits? Is this a thing? Um, I am not the right person to ask <laughs> that one. I literally have billions of clothes, wow. um, so I don't know. But... Uh, for, for, for you, uh, anonymous author, looking for some advice here. This is my advice on this situation. I know what you're going through. I know how this feels. Okay, so you're yeah, you're obviously trying to impress somebody new. Um, you're running out of clothes. Uh, you need to start looking at if they've run out of clothes <laughs> as well first. Oh, so it's so, like a game of chicken to see who yeah, repeats the outfit first, and then you exactly. establish dominance that way. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You hold out. You hold out mm. as long as you possibly can <laughs> before they re-rock the fit. Mm. Once they re-rock an outfit, then you're good in the clear. Yeah. You can re-rock as much as you want. And she could never call you a bum yeah. or anything like that because she she re-rocked the fit before you did. Yeah. So Chad, who's really the bum established here? The, just just get, a, get a nice injection of image-based toxicity in that relationship going early and, and challenge your prospective yes. mate to a game of financial chicken to see who can... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Who takes the longest to repeat an outfit? That's the surefire yes. way to have a long-term relationship. Absolutely. Um, some advice from someone who is not a real clothes-having-ass guy. Who cares, man? I don't know. I'm about to show up to the third date wearing a champion hoodie with Cheeto dust on it. So I'm really also I'm the uh, I'm not the guy to ask for the opposite reason. That I don't know, man. Like, yeah, you obviously want to yeah. look nice, but if you're tr if you're dating a girl. Who the second you rewear one T-shirt is like, um, I don't know if this is gonna work. Then I don't know if you—that's who you, you don't mate want to mate with, dude. So. You don't want that. And I think our author—I think it's all in our author's head as well. Yeah. I don't think that this girl is really even paying attention that much, <laughs> oh, or like that shallow to like uh, 
break up with you or stop talking to you because you re rock the same shirt i don't think that uh this person has even gone that far yet you're probably just overthinking it right. and uh just you know just chill and also just wait and see if they re rock a fit first and maybe the best man wins you know? <laughs> what the f what is this copy boss in the chat are you seeing this you ever met somebody on twitter then you meet up and they got the same outfit they had on their profile pic. <laughs> yes, I have seen this copy pasta before. That's a pretty, wow. that's a pretty good Twitter you ever copy chat? pasta. You ever met someone? It's I a, love the word outfit. Oh, it's a French Montana tweet, right? Of course. Damn, French Montana really cataloging outfits in in Twitter profile pictures. So be careful, everyone. He did type that as a adult <laughs> man with a driver's license. He outfit. definitely typed outfit. <laughs> instead of outfit wow anyone got a nice outfit on posted in the stream back in the day when the stream first started like within the first 20 episodes of the stream we had the idea to do a uh, fit of the day in the stream and challenge our viewers to post a fit <laughs> let our how'd entire that <laughs> how'd that turn out we never even suggested it because the uh the shaming would probably be tos so uh <laughs> yes 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 so guys uh, never shame anybody for their clothes yeah. man you never know what they're going through or if they even know what the fuck is going on as far as clothes so or leave people alone and let them just conversely wear shit. hearing what you've heard right now if you want to still go ahead and post a fit pic in the discord go ahead and do so and we'll show it on stream later today we will we will but right. make sure it's fire or you might get burned all right just be careful with that uh let's do a couple more questions here can you please do a sudden death with andy milanakis thanks says anonymous we would love to we've tried many times to get in touch with other people on twitch and except for kia and a couple other of our friends no one gives a shit about us so yes. um if you can go talk to andy milanakis and get him to come on our stream we would love to we fuck with andy milanakis here on the stream but to mm -hmm. our knowledge he does not give the slightest shit about us or know that we exist this is true this is true so shout out andy milanakis shout out andy. like and all kidding aside i really like andy milanakis and of all the people nah, people he's have a good suggested streamer. he would be a great fit for sudden death because he's actually sick at freestyling so Anyway, help us out if that's uh, your concern, Anonymous. Yeah, go ahead and tag him in harassing tweets, guys. <laughs> He'll be God. sure to come on stream. He's 60. He don't give a fuck about Twitch, this fat guy. No, he's on Twitch. No, he Heavy. loves Twitch. He's all, This is actually all he does now yeah. is just stream on Andy Twitch. Andy Milnakis is like one of the first non-gaming people to have a big Twitch stream. He was on Twitch yeah. like early as shit back in the day. Nah, that's real. He's a Twitch that's OG, real. for real. Anyway, right, you got any more questions more? here? Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, this one, this one is about, this one is about drumsticks and flats, obviously, and, uh, your choice between the two. I just wanted to cause an argument oh, in the chat yeah. real quick before we start the news. Which one, y'all? Drumsticks is or it, flats? Is it, is it drumsticks or flats? Um, I'm a flat guy myself. I'm a drumstick I'm man flat. myself. I like, I, take that I don't like how you gotta kind of tongue the middle between the bone to get the extra uh, meat out of it. Just like... Uh, the middle of the chicken i don't like that part dude what a, what a crazy <laughs> approach to that you don't just i just literally go towards you know the what is this like a ligament or tendon that connects two things on a, on a, on a chicken wing and i, I bite the shit out of that until it separates so now mm. i have multiple just one dimensional sticks of meat that i'm just mm. biting off of as opposed to like this vagina shaped oh, yeah. wing that i'm licking through wow this is kind of freudian honestly maybe the way that yeah. you eat the flat says something um, yeah it's some, it's some horny stuff i fuck with boneless wings more we got a lot of real eaters in the chat telling us that that's their favorite part is the weird vagina like center of the flat so uh, nah i separate those those two bones and go <laughs> crack and then i yeah. just eat the separate sticks as opposed to licking between the pussy of that <laughs> Jar Jar Bink says, I eat steroid chicken made like fist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen those wings too, and goddamn, oh. you better stop eating those before you grow a wing Jesus out Christ. your ass, because that's steroid yeah, and chemicals. Shout out stero steroid chicken. Owen Boneless. Uh, mm, I, you know, mm. I'm not only, I'll eat a bone in wing, man, but you know, I prefer a good chicken nuggy or tendy, if you ask uh. me. All right. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't hurt your, your teeth <laughs> when you chew the tendy. Tony a menace for that. Shout out the Edas, says Rose Gold Will. Let's go. <laughs> All right, <laughs> horny checks in the chat. <laughs> this is going in a direction I didn't want it to. Um, I apologize. Real Edas in the chat. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> chicken is chicken. Wing pussy, sister of the whale. <laughs> Y'all out there eating wing pussy, or are you just separating your chicken like an adult? I want to have to do the least amount of work to eat food as possible. So. Um, it is what it is. Yes, as Markov in the chat so elegantly put it, wussy. That is the 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 part that in between wussy. 
Until you break it open, the part in between the flat of the chicken is the wussy. Let that be known, okay? Yes. Somebody please add that to the Mystery School glossary read in the Discord. Mind. We need that. You read my we need mind. that one. All right. Well, speaking of, I think it's time for the news. Buckle up, everyone. We got a... Ah, yes. Great, great selection. A fine, well-aged selection of news tonight on the Mystery School stream. Full of wondrous <laughs> kinds of bullshit, the likes of which you have never seen before. The eating fandom dying out if you a real Eda stand-up. <laughs> Sorry. No, I really love how we all collectively bullied Dad Tay into staying awake. He's probably like bloodshot red in the eyes, like struggling to stay up. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah. we'll see, man. This is, this is good times, man. Yeah, he, that man wants to go to sleep, y'all. We need to just let him he go. He just very kindly said, going to bed, everyone. Good night. And we all were like, like, fuck hey, you. Man. Hey, he going, he's sleeping over there. <laughs> Oh, sleepy man, you want a nappy nap? Get a blanket for him. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. <clears throat> well, we have no drip news today, but I can tell you that the beginning of the news section on today's stream is really for the Edas out there. <laughs> is it? This shit is fun. I am having fun. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Dex, stay awake, old man. You still up over there? I'm having fun. Yes. You're having fun? Good. All right, Dante, dude. It's okay. If you got to just close your eyes for a second, we'll still be here, man. Don't worry about it. All right. Anyway, this this news is for the the real Edas in the chat. Edas rise up. Uh, Heinz released a tomato ketchup burger for International Burger Day. <laughs> it it oh, says God. ketchup from top to bottom. Everything about this burger is ketchup. Fuck <laughs> that, man. God, there is not <laughs> much worse than over ketchuping anything. Y'all eating the chupurger or or not? Nah? What is? God damn this. <laughs> I honestly do think that um, the the Blood Gang Collective would love this burger, though. This would definitely be a big hit with the L.A. Blood chapter. Yes, it is a this burger bleeding. Honestly, yeah. um, I don't I, I don't really mind ketchup as a kind of tomato hater. Personally, I somehow don't mind ketchup. I just like sauces of most kinds. So you could lather my shit up and down in sauce, and you know it's fine. Oh, but something about the Chup Burger is uniquely disgusting to me. It's that that Chup cheese? Like, what the hell is that? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. Everything else, uh, annoying, but the chup cheese is what really fucked me up. This looks like a burger with a rash, says Bird Circus. Very true. Let's check it out. Yeah. In celebration of last week's International Burger Day, Heinz released a special full tomato ketchup burger. The ketchup on ketchup burger sees a succulent ketchup beef patty topped with ketchup, ketchup infused cheese, no. and a red ketchup brioche bun. No. Every bite is full of Heinz signature condiment. No. Heinz ketchup brand manager Doran Last comments, Every element boasts that unmistakable taste of Heinz tomato ketchup that we all know and love. It's oh, the no. absolute ultimate dish for Heinz tomato ketchup lovers. Don't do this. Please, please. don't do this. Please don't do this. Um, but, uh, it's too late, it seems. The part that I can't get over is the uh, ketchup. Mm. Yeah, that is the worst part right there, y'all. I don't know what the fuck ketchup is, but I need it to stop immediately. It, you ruined a perfectly good piece of cheese, man. Yeah. Um, I like that they don't elaborate on what that, how they infuse the ketchup. Did they just let the cheese marinate in ketchup for a while, or... Uh, anyway, yeah. um, we have most of our viewers voting "huh" on the on the ketchup the burger poll. I would eat it honestly. I wouldn't be enthusiastic about it, but I would no, do it. It's not fun at all. It's just like a mouthful of just wet, sweet red ketchup mm. everywhere. I like the taste of that burger and cheese and the bread mixed together, but you just took all of that away from me and replaced it with ketchup, and I'm yeah. not happy about it. Yeah, I guess literally any other variety would be good. Also, ketchup infused meat is just meatloaf, right? Well, infused, I wouldn't say, but I slathered. think it is lathered, <laughs> lathered meat yes. and ketchup. Yeah, mm. meatloaf is lathered. Oh, God, Drow the Whale says, imagine this burger, but all purple, gray, chup style. Heinz going brazy. No, they are not going brazy. Oh, that's the codeine <laughs> burger right there. <laughs> okay, we got to look at it again. Uh, then vomit, yes. Okay, everyone, for the, for the third time this month, it's time to take a look at... <laughs> The Just time in case you we, forgot. We wish we forgot the purple Heinz Easy Squeeze ketchup. Yeah, let's get that wacky chup. Oh, Man, that shit is wacky right there, y'all. It's bleeding in an alien execution sort of way. God, well, uh, that happened, y'all. So remind yourself how bad ketchup can be. Ketchup can be evil. Don't think it's all fun and games. Ketchup gives and ketchup takes away in this world. So triggering. Agreed. Um, did anyone in chat actually like 
the colored ketchup. I, I really am keeping a psychological profile of everyone who did because I have strong feelings about them. Because I know yeah. every time we bring this up, some people in the chat are like, hell yeah, that was my shit. I like, I, I didn't have it, but I always wanted that green one. I was just like, God, oh. I need that as a kid, but I never got it, unfortunately. The green one was okay. Ari Flux said, Barney, come. That is a children's show. <laughs> I wanted it as a kid, but never seen it in storage. That shit was taken off shelves immediately, either for health and safety reasons or because of the insatiable demand or both potentially. Yeah, I wonder, was it for a safety reason or did they just decide like, you know what? This was a mistake. That's enough. Let's let's end what we've begun here. <laughs> Google yeah. Funky Fries, says Uzi Convertible. You know what, Uzi Convertible? I trust you. Funky Fries? They better not have a color on them besides fry color. Funky Fries. Okay, what is the... Oh! Well, well, I'm gonna get upset. Wait, oh, okay, this isn't that bad. Is that little baby? I don't know. Um, I don't like this one that looks just like a bunch of shit. Oh, those chocolate churros. What's up with that? Oh, and then those green uh wasabi pea snap looking ones. I don't like those either. Sour cream and jive. Cool blue. <laughs> mm. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like starch foods with like the cool blue like raspberry yeah. type of flavoring uh profile that just don't seem certain, right to certain me. things are not meant to be cool yeah, like in terms of texture cool, color blue. or attitude you know <laughs> a chip a, a, pu a puff crisp product is not really a cool thing no um like no. If, if it's like flaming rat fuck poison flavor, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. That belongs on a chip right there. It's appropriate. Mm -hmm. It's appropriate, man. So, yeah. Those sucked. Uh, the ketchup sucks, guys. Right. There's your news right there. Please do not funkify my fries. <laughs> Requests desperately lame James in the chat. Owen with a crisp shave up. Thank you. My girlfriend just shaved my head in the bathtub immediately before the stream today. There was something I was going to say. Oh, remember the time we were in Hawaii and I bought that bag of chips from Whole Foods and I was just like shoveling them down and we realized that they were the challenge chips halfway through eating them where like oh, YouTubers like ghost would eat just peppers one. and shit yeah 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 that was that tight. was that was that was crazy <laughs> uh, i think i had like one of those and i was done that was it yeah remember those like ghost pepper chips that youtubers would eat and like vine stars would eat and be like oh it's so hot and start drooling everywhere i was literally just i bought an entire bag of those unknowingly because at whole foods it was like super hot fucking danger chips and uh i was like oh yeah go fuck yourself because i really like like spicy stuff and then i just was just shoveling them down before i realized what was uh, happening and it wasn't that spicy but anyway no it was spicy as shit to regular taste pal taste bud palates but um apparently you are not that <laughs> you don't have a normal palate for no, spice man it's kind of fucked up yeah. owen getting bathtub shaved like a golden retriever it is literally like an animal being sheared it's not romantic as lame james suggested i am being sheared like a fucking animal oh man you, are you like shirtless shivering am, in there like i literally get <laughs> ass naked and sit in a ball and i get shaved in the bathtub uh, okay that's not that's how it goes nah do all fours man and just like sit there and shake <laughs> just shake as you can cut and like growl at her every now and then if she goes a little too far up up the neck <laughs> yeah i get sheared a little bit yes why yes, butt naked good. i'm not gonna get the hair all over my body and then i immediately take a shower afterwards so like i wouldn't get sheared take my clothes off and get prickles everywhere and then take a shower let's just ah. cut to the chase and i'll get ass naked first and then get sheared you know <laughs> uh, primal instincts the spooky rockets <laughs> brio said talk like scooby-doo in the tub <laughs> <laughs> Roro, i'm being reared can you oh, stop hurting God. me, Sajidi? Yeah, anyway. Um, Very cool. I do get Very sheared cool. like an animal in the tub for the stream. It saves time and money, guys. <laughs> it does. Anyway, now that we've funkifi uh, funkified all the fries in the chat right here, it's time for the immediately relevant follow-up article here. Check this out. Good news for many of our viewers. This weed company will pay an intern $1,000 a month to test its products. Wow, oh, another dream job for you guys out there in the chat, man. You guys getting high for free right now. Imagine getting yeah. paid a thousand a month to test more drugs. Uh, Lord Rockwell says he applied for this. Kia's in the chat. Kia, what's going on? Welcome. What's back. up, Kia? Um, also look at this nice apartment with a, gl a clear glass bong here. Sam, she hitting that roar <laughs> like a real <laughs> villain. I Those need uh big ass weed socks any roar rebels in the chat right now ripping a fat cloud from the roar glass <laughs> it's 
Somebody took a picture in the Discord of Roar Bong and I almost banned him. <laughs> roar, roar Bongers in the chat, please stand up. Yeah. Um, we need to ask every time. Anyone post a fit pic in the Discord? Oh, yeah, several people posted fit pics in the Discord. Oh, okay, we'll, fo we'll follow those up after this here. So let's check this out. Uh,. MJ, a California-based weed delivery service, is looking for a summer intern. It's not a gig that will leave you fetching coffee, nor is it one that you might consider a traditional resume booster. It is, however, a paid position that will likely draw a lot of applications. The three-month internship will pay a candidate $1,000 per month to test the company's products. That's all the job consists of, testing products and writing reviews of them for three months. Those products include flour, oil, pens, edibles, topicals, and other cannabis products, according to the company. The position isn't full time. It doesn't include benefits. So if you start having a, <laughs> you start seeing demons crawling out of your walls while using the products, there is no health insurance. Mm, no, and the FDA has not approved uh, weed topical LSD yet. No. So you will be testing un yeah. uh, unapproved products it is, beforehand. It is unsanctioned, but hey, you know, uh, no, no, no risk, no reward. In addition to $1,000 a month, you're getting products to test for free. A representative tells Thrillist that those samples amount to thousands of dollars worth of free weed, edibles, oil, and other products. To apply, they're looking for a resume and a one-page <laughs> writing sample or video shorter than 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Get it? The weed number. Uh, the temporary... Yeah, okay, so, you know, chat, I guess a good resume video. We can brainstorm and help our viewers get the gig. I would say take a fat rip from a, from a roar bong. Start coughing until, you know, you get to that point where you're, like, drooling a little bit, <laughs> getting really uncomfortable. Okay. And then just sit for a little while and just look kind of pained and drool on yourself. I think that that will show the tenacity required to, to do this job. Yeah, you're willing to injure yourself for this product. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't got anything <laughs> to add to that. I think that's a genius way right. to uh, send in your application. Yeah, you're not a real weed honker until you're crying and throwing up after the bong hit. You know? Hey. True, true, true. Yeah, uh, none of you are going to get this job, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, just because that's just how it goes. Anything you want, you can't have. Uh, but this does seem like a very cool opportunity for somebody to get high as shit for $1,000 a month. Lord Rockwell says, how much for you to try a medicated suppository? Like, how much would I have to be paid to do it? Uh, the price of the product, probably. Oh, is that a, a like a, a weed pill up your ass, yes. basically? Oh, yeah. A suppository goes straight to your bloodstream, right? It's, it's up. The bloodstream is directly connected to the anus, <laughs> uh, from what I remember in science class. Boof Town, says Aloxta. They're not that bad, says Eddie Canada. Yeah, I figured that it would be a effective way to get high, all things considered. And, you know, you only feel a slight strange feeling near just your anus pinch. for a moment. And this is, it's just going to be a little pinch. Next thing you know, Virtual Devil 420 pops up to just say, Yee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, boof bumps, they're phi, says username Bree. Mucus membranes is 10k rads. We got some real boofers in the chat at the moment. Oh, damn, yeah. Y'all boofing out here? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, keep it up, y'all. I think you guys will really be able to uh, <laughs> uh, be helpful to this internship, man, if you've had the experience boofing already. Jazzy Jewels in the chat says, ass talk going crazy. Let's go. Okay. What you up to? Weed boofs? I'm out. Yeah, just a little pinch. Kia, you know. So, anyway, weed boofers in the chat, please rise up. Please rise up. All right. I'm still, I'm tripping fucking balls in this Beverly Hills restaurant, says Kilogrammer. Kilogrammer, dude, no matter wow, what nice. happens, we got you. We are here for you. This is a safe space. We love you. And the chat as well. You're out in the world. <laughs> High as hell off psychedelics in a restaurant. We and the Mystery School community, we have your back, man. We got it. We got you. Je uh, Kilogrammer, just make sure you're... uh. Make sure you're under 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 insurance. Make sure you're insured. <laughs> Look, William James said, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> no, James, stop that. Bad trip incoming, man. Oh, hey, if you start having a bad trip, dude, just close your eyes, oh, ball shit. up, and you'll be fine. Uh don't forget your don't forget to tip your server, cuz says Shugnate. Yeah, dude. Uh, you know, while tripping balls off a of psychedelic substance, it is a good idea to tip your server. Yeah, probably make you feel good about yeah. yourself and increase the high a little more. Unique says mimes. I imagine in a threatening way. Like, someone's, if someone was tripping balls and you came up to him and you were like, dude, imagine a mime. <laughs> mimes, dude. dude. <laughs> mimes. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Anyway, um, don't boof while tripping. True. Anyway, uh, let's keep it doing. Let's keep, let's keep it doing. Let's keep it tripping, y'all. 
robo tripping. Let's keep it doing. All right. How about this? Real, uh, holy shit. Um, this next article is more savage than it needs to be, honestly. Taco Bell to open on site of shuttered White Castle in Melville. Damn, Damn walk, dude. Walked in their trap and took over their trap. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking business and right there. It will, everyone will always know that this shit used to be a White Castle from its very obvious White Castle design. And Taco Bell just came in like an insurgent force and <laughs> dominated it, man. It came in like a, a rogue nation of wow. villains that just overtook this poor white castle. This man. is imperialism, no bro. I don't know if I can get behind this. Drow the Whale, thank you for the gift of sub, man. What's up, Drow? We appreciate that. Chat, is this imperialism? Um, I feel like Taco Bell is stronger force, a stronger force than White Castle. Yeah, they outpower White Castle big time. Uh, Bird Circus, good point, mm. man. Definitely a, a fast food hermit crab vibe right here. True. Uh, Lame James says combine them. I'm at the Taco Bell. I'm at the White Castle. I'm at the combination of Taco oh. Bell and White Castle. Yeah, it works. Technically, they could. Mm. They're all terrible, so it's, it's fine. Mm. White Castle isn't in Alabama, says Kia. Damn, I didn't know that. Oh, that's sad. Anyway, Chet, you all, if you haven't had White Castle, you owe it to yourself to experience your innards being ruptured after a delicious meal at White Castle that you instantaneously regret. Anyway, no need for a run to the border to get a taco fix? <laughs> what the what, fuck what, was that was was that was that racially charged why, why'd you go with that opening what sentence? are you talking about here deborah s morris um anyway uh the site of a former white castle restaurant in melville will soon be the home of a taco bell we got some fucking breaking news here on the mystery school stream right now this is just the hard-hitting journalism that you've come to expect from us oh, um, <laughs> yes <laughs> This there is, is a, a Taco Bell being opened inside of a white castle. Okay, it's, it's breaking news. Last month, Taco Bell of America LLC received site plan approval from the town of Huntington Planning Board. <laughs> yeah, Taco Bell making moves. The plan calls for the existing vacant building to be demolished. Oh, oh they're busting down no, the white castle. Sucks. I thought they was just going to hop in and like yeah. paint paint different colors and put up a different sign in this <laughs> yeah. obvious White Castle establishment. That's the whole but... reason I wanted to talk about this. Well, yeah, it's, it doesn't mean shit if they're just going to bulldoze the whole thing and build a new building. I thought they was about to inhabit this haunted White Castle and <laughs> start fucking slanging shit wow. and mixing the mixing ingredients that they left over. Taco Bell really uh, being respectful. This is like not building a golf course on the burial site. They at least are respecting oh. the wishes of the deceased here. Oh, no, um, this is not as cool as I thought it was. Okay, well, wow, I thought it was a savage move from Taco Bell there, but I guess not. Um, there is something that I want to show you all, but I need fine. a second to find it. I think also that we should gamble. Yeah, it's about time. It's about time for a gamble, guys. Uh, you really upset us earlier in the Discord with all of the ass talk. You guys were really breaching contract with us uh when you began to get so horny like that so we got some punishment gambles coming up uh for about the next six gambles of the stream these <laughs> will all be punishment gambles so guys get ready uh hopefully you got enough money to survive this because this will for sure uh probably knock out about 50 percent of your portfolio can i also show them something done. punishing as well yeah. too um used to be a pizza hut is a blog that i was shown a while ago that just sticks around in my heart and mind for some reason and it's a collection of locations that used to be Pizza Huts, but are now, this one is Dad's. And you can tell what used to be a Pizza Hut mm -hmm. once you see that uh, fucking, uh, what's that guy's name? Indiana Jones hat-shaped roof? Yeah. Once you see that, you know that was a Pizza Hut, so there's no hiding it. There's a Sam Seafood and Grill. You're not hiding from us. We know that that used to be a Pizza Hut. IDA Pharmacy in Calgary. <laughs> That should be so ghetto. Change the fucking roof, y'all. <laughs> Don't leave that Pizza Hut roof I, up there. I'd like to believe that the roof is, like, integral to the uh, structural integrity of the building. And if the roof changes, the whole thing just, just doesn't just work. collapses. Oh, that was a Pizza Hut? That just looks like a regular building. A gourmet butcher. Uh, now that's a oh, Pizza Hut. Oh, God. For sure. <laughs> Several murders happen near this Pizza Hut. I can feel it from the satanic energy emanating yeah, from the roof. Yeah, I definitely feel demonic energy the here. The withered roof. Um, the Country Biscuit Restaurant. Definitely. Now that's nice. See, they yeah. took a different approach and painted it yellow <laughs> to try to throw you yeah. off and confuse you a little bit. Mm, it's a biscuit colored roof. Oh, let's just do like one that. more here. Liquor Hut. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? That, 
that's just a liquor hut, man. That, that wasn't yeah. a pizza hut if, originally. If that ever was a pizza hut, the liquor hut has totally overtaken it. But I do respect them keeping the namesake hut in the liquor title hut. here. <laughs> liquor hut. He's just uh, fucking drunk. Here's Augusta uh, Full Gospel Church. Um, now that's disrespectful <laughs> as fuck. What, to the Lord or to Pizza yeah, Hut? <laughs> to the Lord, man. You're going you gonna to put God inside of an old Pizza Hut, bro? Damn. Come Have some respect, man. That's terrible. Oh, shit. Uh, amen, says Martina. Um, Respect God, We got man, Seafood and Chicken Express. Okay, oh, no, they went a different Express. direction with that one. Uh, Church of Our Savior. <laughs> Damn, uh, dude. The again, the throwing the Lord into a medium pizza. Wow. Anyway, um, used to That's be a terrible. Pizza Hut. Great blog. Great journalistic publication. Cannot recommend it highly enough. Anyway, uh, time to punish our viewers with gambles. Yeah. All right. This article, uh, this will be a... Two article gamble. Okay. We'll get it started like that. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll include ads. We'll include ads. But this is going to be a tricky one, guys. I would like to see. Uh, hmm, how do I even phrase this? This is this is deep here. <laughs> oh God. Um. I would like to see. I would like to see. Just a little bit of sexual chemistry between two people. Sexual <laughs> chemistry between two people. Okay, so. Does that encompass like you know a loving look at one another? Like yeah, shit. yep, it, a loving look, uh, a smile, hold somebody's hand a little bit too firm, looking into their eyes too hard or deep, uh, all these things. Uh, maybe even a arm around the shoulder, arm around the waistline, or something like that. All types of affection. We'll see if they have any of that. So next two articles. Sexual chemistry or affection? I feel like physical affection is easier to. For our, for our poor, beaten down, oh. abused viewers to quantify. Oh, no, we're not trying to make it easy for them. We're trying to make it difficult, man. We're trying to make it as torturous as possible, okay. man. So we're looking for uh, we're looking for some sexual All chemistry right. in some way, shape, or form, man. Uh, we have our mods. We'll be the judge of uh, if, if the chemistry is hot or not. But oh, uh, I, I would bet on it, guys. I'm actually pre-vetting the next couple articles to make sure we don't get any tricky situations here. Um, mm hmm I'm not giving any clues. Okay, gamble, just let it rip. All right, I think we're up. Gamble number one of tonight's torture. This is torture night. Uh, get ready, guys. Let's go ahead and see that, that gamble pop up and see how much money we can get. I'm shorting love, says Dro the Whale. Wow, yeah, they hate smart. love in the chat. Smart, smart, smart. All right, <clears throat> um, it's time to call in. Nick Savage is the only person in the voice chat right now. Oh, we got Nick Savage in there. Anybody else hopping in the voice chat? Nick, now is your chance. Go ahead, unmute yourself. Do you still have to stick to the you can't say anything nice to us uh, standard for the stream today? Yep, yep, yep. Complain. I want complaints only, actually. This is complaint only call in okay. tonight. Less complain, guys. Okay, let me just turn my push to talk off real quick because I was playing World of Warcraft the other day. All right, there we go. Uh, Nick, you're, you're on the air. On the complaint only edition of the Mystery School call in segment. Uh, do you have any complaints, mean things to say to us? <laughs> Nick, can you hear us? Nick? Calling Nick, paging Nick? Hello? Oh, you're muted in Discord. N oh, me? Nick, can you. Nick unmuted himself and everything. Nick. Hello? I see you in there. I'm looking you right in the face. Nick? Hello? Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. <laughs> Nick um, all right, well. Well. All right, uh, well, that was the call-in segment for that gamble there. That was uh, it, yes, yes. We'll try again. <laughs> Next we'll gamble. Shot. Next gamble. We for sure will. That is good. Pure, guys. That was pure. Mm -hmm. That um, was pure. All right. Also, speaking of pure, I don't know pure what, pure high octane, pure adrenaline, uh, love or the lack thereof. If we hit our sub goal up here tonight, it's going to be time for sudden death. Full song start to finish in under 30 minutes. I think we're on a streak, actually, aren't we? Yes. Uh, I believe we've been going all week. All week. And then didn't we do most of last week as well? Wouldn't this be like the fifth sudden death or something? Let's call it five. I like or the sound sixth. of that. I don't even know. Chad, does anyone, any of our archivists know? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I like the sound of that. So maybe we'll, we'll call it five. You know what? Kia might be onto something here. That was pretty mean. Just straight ignored you guys. Maybe Nick was playing Whoa. the part and ignoring us. And it was a 4D chess move. High IQ shit. Damn, Nick, wow. you snapped. Wow, you actually snapped, Nick. A round of applause. Round of applause for that. You actually went hard. Um, we are sad, and that was very mean. Coming to us. from the mind of the person who told me that I couldn't read good and prompted me to embarrass myself in front of our <laughs> viewers time and time again, I only expected a level up like this. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. All right. Well, all the smoke. All right. Anyway, uh, we have some more chicken news, actually. Um, <laughs> we have chicken news. Okay, it's time for chicken news. Jolly Bee customer served fully fried battered towel. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It do be looking chickular. Oh know? my <laughs> god, dog! Mm. <laughs> Come a on, that looks like a nugget. Fry. They say it fully fried. I bet the person that bought that meal probably just chewed, took a big <laughs> chunk out of that shit, and was like, "Oh, mm. I'm okay. Wait a minute, mm. this is a fucking towel." Uh, Looks like a geo- Bird Circus, dude, you read my mind! Okay, sorry. I need to pull this up real quick. Uh, chicken crystal. Um, chicken crystal? <laughs> yes. Uh, it does look like a geode, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so chat, which one looks more like chicken? The chicken- The chicken crystal. That's not a piece of chicken, that's a chicken crystal. Damn, that looked like a delicious piece of chicken with mm. a little honey mustard dripping mm, off of it. Dude, it looks so good! Damn. Or that chicken it chickeny. It looked chickeny. Or uh the Jollibee chicken towel. Now that <laughs> looks like a geode too. It looks like some kind of uh turquoise or whatever that blue one is. Damn. I'm going with the chicken crystal, man. I would bite this shit right now and immediately need dental surgery. Yeah. Well, fried towel, y'all. Uh anybody in the chat unfamiliar with Jolly Bee? Jolly Bee, I believe, is a West Coast fast food restaurant. Uh, I think it is primarily like a Filipino cuisine, man. It's is it? fast food. Yeah, their mascot is like this bee. Oh literally yeah. A bee. And um, yeah, they're they're like Filipino cuisine and shit. And um, I've I've eaten it a couple times. It's pretty pretty okay. <laughs> but I didn't order the fried towel though, so right. I don't know. If anyone have a review of the fried towel, let us know. Bird Circus yeah. says Bird Circus final form is actually chicken crystal. Fair enough, yeah, man. There it is. A Jollibee customer has claimed she was served a deep fried towel instead of the chicken she ordered for her son. Uh, it's Elik Perez says instead of receiving the Philippine fast food giant's famous crispy fried chicken, she got something really disturbing. On Facebook, she wrote, We had Jollibee delivered via Grab. Ordered chicken for my son. While I was trying to get him a bite, I found it super hard to even slice. Tried opening it up with my hands. And so, imagine gripping a deep fried towel, just like, peeling it. Ah. To my Cracking surprise, it like, I found a deep fried towel. This is really disturbing. How the hell do you get the towel and the batter and even fry it? Uh, she That's went to add fire. I really thought that the posts complaining about weird stuff in the orders were all just made up. Now I know that it really happens. Mm. So disgusting and embarrassing. Um... <laughs> Wait, why were you embarrassed, lady? You get to sue now. Yeah, she gets. I'm not embarrassed. Oh, oh God! Oh fuck, man! What the fuck? That was probably she tried to cut into that shit, man. The part where she rubbed off the the chicken batter, she probably tried to take a little bite Ew. out of it and see what was going on. So, to my, if I was in her situation, I don't think I even would have got that shit to cutting it. It was probably flopping all around the inside of the box, looking like a towel. No, nah, actually, it was probably deep fried to hell and back, so it was a probably solid, uh, unified object that yeah. didn't even move. I think you're right. Oh, damn, they had to issue a full statement, like a notes yeah. apology. This concerns the customer complaint on food order late eating on June 1st from a franchise store. Uh, we are deeply concerned about this matter. <laughs> Jolly yeah. Bee has carefully developed and complied with food preparation systems, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so they ate the chicken towel dropped, everyone. I am concerned. Um, yeah, it, this can happen, y'all. Fast food restaurants uh, usually employ really, really upset 16, 17-year-olds yeah. that are getting paid below minimum wage. And honestly, they don't give too much of a fuck. No. They probably just want to do their job. And um, a towel probably fell into the batter, and he was like, oh, well, fuck it. Ooh, fry it. Get fried up. Um, Chet, I guess we should take this time to you know, get some things off of our chest. 
any particularly gross shit like this that you've encountered at a fast food restaurant or just regular dining experience. Thankfully, I've never really had anything super fucked up happen to me other than the errant hair in my food occasionally. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah, not like a dead have. rat or some shit in the deep fryer. Mm. One time at school, though, uh, we had to be in like third grade. Um, this girl was eating lunch and we had, uh, you know how uh, middle schools and grade schools gave you like weird combinations of things. Oh, yeah, so we like were having milk, corn, pizza slice and yes. uh, green beans. Yes. So we had a uh, cheeseburger. No, it was a uh, it was like a Salisbury steak in like barbecue baked beans. Right. Yeah. Two things that just suck together. <laughs> Anyway, the girl, one of the girls in my class, she's eating her beans, and uh, a fucking, like, worm pops out of the beans and is just, like, sitting there wiggling and squirming. She screams. Everybody in the lunchroom comes over and is like, oh, fuck, man. And then everybody's everybody's parents were, like, calling to school and complaining and, like, trying to get people fired and shit. It was tight, man. Like, everybody thought they were losing their job. It was scary for everybody who worked at the school wow bean worm gate really tore that community apart man yeah all right she was eating beans all right well thankfully none of our chat has that much food trauma about this a former co-worker from hy said he put weed stem in the salad bar you know that's pretty benign all things considered just chomp down a little weed stem it's all right yeah you're not gonna get high i had an asian noodle soup with a rubber band in it says all right flux Okay, Mexican pizza rats. Oh shit. Okay, now it's time to bring up the fact that Drowsy told us the Mexican pizza at Taco Bell got canceled because rats kept crawling into the pizza maker mm, and dying there. <laughs> not dying. lasting very long. They're they're not strong enough for that flame. No, they uh, they were continually dying in there. Okay, actually, surprisingly, we have more fucking chicken news tonight. But this is the last chicken article that we have here. We've told you about this investment twice now. Okay, there's no excuse for you to not have experienced financial freedom by this point in time because we are here to tell you the Among Us shaped chicken McNugget sold for nearly a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, you you dummy, you idiot, you you could have you could have been in at the ground floor when this Among Us nugget was only fourteen hundred dollars a few days talked ago. Talked about this at the fourteen hundred dollar mark. This shit <sighs> is literally a hundred x to the moon. We had we had a chance. We could have all pooled our collective money together, y'all, and bought that fourteen hundred dollar nugget when it was still just on the ground floor. And now we're too late. If we FOMO in now, then we'll all lose our bags, yeah, man. This is It'll buying suck. the top, dude. We cannot. No, we can no longer condone the financial investment that is the Among Us shaped chicken McNugget Fuck, from man. McDonald's BTS meal. Um, we missed the boat, everyone. So hopefully, one of you profited severely from this. But uh, yeah. yeah. There it is. I'm not worried. I feel like there'll be I feel like there'll be more expensive nuggets in the next coming weeks. So we will all have a chance to get in on this lucrative market. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. More nugget. So, dude, actually, we've been researching this genre of collectibles for a while, such as the Cheeto market. The Cheeto resale market is going crazy. You know, that one is nuts. So man. shaped foods. Make sure to have some shaped foods in your investment portfolio to be fully diversified in these trying economic times. Guys, I, I know you guys think he's joking, but <laughs> like we live in a terrible future right now where that is probably sound financial advice, to be honest, man. Like <laughs> start finding object shaped. Yeah. foods and uh just hold on to them because you never know when you could be in a among us nugget situation right. or in a or in a um black lives matter cheeto yes, situation like says like the black Lives matter cheeto yeah. that looked like it was the guy throwing the molotov cocktail in that mm -hmm. famous picture Hell yeah. there's a lot of opportunities here to become a billionaire if we find object shaped foods in the next couple years man so hold on to what you find and never 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 sell damn dude the buyer's unknown they're protecting their identity because of the value of this this investment will surely skyrocket after their purchase that's right um man. damn imagine this come up you go to mcdonald's to get the mcdonald's bts meal you see an among us nugget immediately listed on ebay and then get a cool six figures cool six figures yeah I, I applaud the guy that bought it for 1400 and flipped that bitch for 100k what a sale yeah i am jealous honestly um well there was no loving looks in the last article about the chicken towel and there was only an Among Us chicken nugget in the next one. Uh, wait, do ads count? Yeah, we'll, we'll do ads. Ads, ads did okay, count. Okay, let's just do an ad check real, real quick here. I see. Uh, nope, that doesn't look affectionate. Nope, nope, nobody's loving. Nope. 
Uh, what's that? No. no, they're all looking straight. Nope, nothing happened there. Mm. Yeah, sorry. No loving, no loving looks. No yeah, sexual that, attention. At and all. that's and that's only the first torture gamble of the night, guys. We got plenty more coming up, so be prepared. Uh, hopefully, somebody made a lot of money. Hopefully, someone else lost their entire <laughs> their nest net egg. Worth, yeah. Um, dude, you know, we haven't done this in a little while. I think it's time to let chat choose their own adventure next. Sure. Uh, That's the least we could do. Whoa, they changed the Twitch dashboard. What the hell happened here? Uh, no vibes, Bando. No vibes there. Shit. No vibes. Uh, manager poll. Jesus. All right, there we go. Okay, what's next, chat? Uh, what's next? What type of article you want us to talk about next? What's next? We got, um, real... Uh, how do I phrase this? Uh, what do we call it? Real hell vibes with a Z. Oh, hell, hell, hell vibes, y'all. Uh, or we got. What do you think? Um, that real. Okay, the polls are up for 60 seconds. Please cast your vote. Don't ask me for clarification on either of those two, please. Poll is up. Cast your votes. You decide where the stream goes <laughs> next. It's up to you, man. We yeah. will listen and won't just lie to you here. So professional use is a rat fuck prison planet. <laughs> Agreed. They want R -P -P. Uh, they're asking for the real hell vibes so far. Please cast your vote, everyone. We it's need to looking know. like real hell vibes, man. I'm glad to see you guys are interested in that because that's literally all that we have <laughs> left here. It's just a lot of real hell vibes, man. It's yeah. Friday night. And that reel was honestly kind of a anyway, I'm not even gonna bring that up. Um, while the poll's going down, I do want to just bring this up real quick. Magawa the hero rat retires from job detecting landmines. We talked about this, uh, this little rat a while back, and it was their retirement was announced. They've officially retired. They saved dozens of human lives. Claps in the chat. Salutes in the him. chat. Clap for him. Clap for him. If y'all remember, we did talk about him. Um, this rat is gigantic, y'all. Like, yeah. this is not a normal. Look at that <laughs> motherfucker right there. That's enough to make you really pull out an AR-15 and get to just shooting blindly into a corner. <laughs> yes. But, uh, but yeah, it, it honestly is your friend, and you don't want to shoot that rat. That rat saved more lives than it ended. Yes. So let's give a round of applause So for W's him. in the chat, please, for Magawa finally retiring after doing such a good job. Magawa, thank you for your service of detecting landmines. Um, in their five-year career, the rodents sniffed out 71 landmines and dozens more unexploded items in Cambodia. Nice. Wow. What a guy. That's Thank a good you. rat. Um, usually not a rat guy, unless they're like the clean pet smart versions of rats that are like white and brown with yes. a little... Those are cool rats, but uh, not a fan of just regular street cigarette smoking uh, stealing rats. Those are usually <laughs> right. not my favorite. Those are the, the usual kind. Uh, Ari Flex says, I honored him. This past Memorial Day. Yes, Magawa, thank you for your service. Appreciate that. As he should be. Nah, fuck that rat. It's got to go. <laughs> Dude, the rat just saved <laughs> he 71 lives. Saved or countless lives. Potentially more. And he uh, was literally crawling around landmines all the time. Risking his fucking limbs for all of us to be able to walk through fields. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Where's Ricky? Ricky's at rehab. Oh, Ricky, yeah, man. He he's yeah. not as helpful as a rat as yeah. Magawa. Ricky Magawa has helped. He'll be back. He's at rehab right now. He's going through some things, you know. The paranoia and years of drug abuse finally started to catch up with him. Yeah. Um also he was starting to be tracked down by all of his former employers. So he needed to just get away for a little bit, but he'll be back, don't worry. Yeah, tough shit, man. Don't worry, he'll be back. All right, well, they voted for the hell news, so um, here you go, everyone. Uh, not specifically hell news, but Lil Yachty and Bad Baby's first venture capital investment is a Jewish dating app. Uh, a lot of words here that I don't know what they mean. Um, not sure. I didn't know Lil Yachty and Bad Baby had a venture venture capitalist uh, collective. He is I was rich not aware as of that. shit. He is. Um I didn't know that they even were friends. I didn't know that they were collabing on being angel investors, <laughs> but I guess I learned mm. something new When today. you have a lot of money, like Bad Baby made almost a million dollars from her OnlyFans uh, like in a day or some shit. It was pretty crazy. Snap. Uh, they got a lot of money. I think you just... Next logical thing to do is to start looking for prospective Jewish dating apps to invest in. That's just what any reasonable investor would do. So let's check it out here. With live events greatly stalled, the pandemic era 
has been rich with Hollywood movers and shakers putting their money into promising startups across tech, live streaming, and social networking. Justin Bieber and Jay Balvin joined manager Scooter Braun as investors in mixed reality concert developer Wave. The Chainsmokers and Snoop Dogg were among vaulted investor class for TikTok collab market pace P Pear Pop? The fuck is Excuse that? Excuse me? Can, can I even say that word? Snoop Snoop Dogg investing in a, a, a alternate TikTok called Pear Pop? Jesus. Um, in the I'm last... not surprised. Latest Mad Lib style celebrity investment in unexpected product, Bad Baby and Lil Yachty, who recently launched a fund together called Scoop Investments, led by the two rappers, their manager Adam Kruger, <laughs> and three other executives. What are you <laughs> saying to me right I'm now, just dude? Saying words, dude. Why are you saying these things? <laughs> they invested in Locks Club, a dating app for Jews with ridiculously high standards. <laughs> what are you saying, man? Are those Why are real? Why doing this? <laughs> Why is, is this what our. Oh, God. Like, yeah, that was a lot of words, Chad. Uh, Hold on, dude. It gets way better. Try to process it. Locks Club's developers describe their app as a virtual speakeasy hidden within an old school deli. Rather than relying on primary algorithms like Tinder or Bumble, Locks Club, went, which launched towards the end of 2020, gives users actual human matchmakers. I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> this is the first time on stream that I literally don't understand one word you just said, dog. Yeah. Like, what? I don't know. What does any of this mean? I don't really know. <laughs> did they like? Is did an AI write this or like what's happening? I don't uh, understand what the fuck is going on. I don't know, man. All we know is any Jewish people in the chat want to get matched <laughs> up with ridiculously high standards by not a robot. I guess little Yabi, Yadi and Bad Baby are the people to talk to. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Confusion, yes. Um, but yeah, shout out to Lil Yabi <laughs> and fucking Bad Bobby. And I hope that they Lil make Yabi. tons of money on their Jewish dating app. Yo, Kayla, thank you for gifting a sub to Lil, Lil Yadi. Um, Lil Yabi. Lil <laughs> give one to Lil, gift the sub to Lil Yabi too, y'all. Because you can't just leave him out. Is Lil Yabi <laughs> in the chat? Um, Lil Yabi sounds like a Harry Potter rapper, man. Oh, Lil man. Yabi and Bad Bobby. <laughs> Can we get some gas leak emotes in the chat, please? Can I get a Bad Bobby this, in the chat? This fucking stream is Chicken Crystal this, Lil Yabi that, Bad Bobby this, dude. Seriously, we're going to have to start putting some like restrictions up <laughs> on the news that's getting posted in the stream, guys. Like, I am yeah. not under, I haven't understood the past six articles, guys. Like, I don't know <laughs> what any of the words mean. I don't know what's <laughs> happening makes. anymore, dude. No, I'm losing the thread, man. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. I am losing the thread. I don't know. Uh, speaking of, if you want us to make a song live in under 30 minutes about any or all of these topics, we got to hit the sub yeah. goal up here in the corner within the next 34 minutes. That can happen. That uh, can happen, guys. Or else we're just going to live on this hell planet for a little while longer. Oh, no. um, I saying we ate too much fried towel. And, <laughs> yeah, that, that'll definitely go to your head, too. Yeah. So careful. They just want you to settle down and meet somebody nice. I got no problem with Locks Club, man. It just doesn't make sense. Y'all DJ high standards Jewish dating apps funded by mumble rappers. Yeah, I would. I'd take that check in a goddamn instant. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, guys, hopefully the next article is half as confusing as this one. Um, <laughs> Young Jew. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Ray J says, I ain't Jewish, but I'm going to still download the app. What are we doing in here? Oh, who's that? Oh, shit. Uh, Trap Dad, That's welcome back for 14 months. They're doing business development, research and development on the Mystery School app. Dude, do people still use apps? I feel like everyone uses the same five apps and all other apps are blacklisted. <laughs> There's apps? <laughs> there I definitely got I got 39,000 apps on my phone and they all got that little like download signal under them because yeah. I guess they all deleted off my right. phone because I never use any of them. Right. Yeah, I don't really use those kind Damn, of Damn, remember apps? I think they I think you're right. I think apps suck now and nobody gives a fuck apps anymore suck. about apps. Because everyone at this point is like, hey, I don't recognize this app. I only use four of the same apps and if I see a square on my phone I don't recognize, I'm getting scared. Yeah, it it, it all started with the uh just the free for all of app creation that happened after like 2010 or something. And then it's like, everybody's like, I got an app. I got an app. I can make an app. And they just started making too many apps. And now you can't mm. trust any apps because they all are terrible. Young Jules says, remember when they were making apps to talk on apps at the same time? Yes. Damn, man. I heard you like apps. So we made an app for your app. So you can talk in your app inside of the apps. 
I miss 2010, so it's Colorful Wonders. I knew a guy in high school in around 2009, 2010, who invent who he didn't invent because the technology is pretty simple. He was just the first guy to put a guitar tuner app on the uh, on the uh, the app store, and he yep. made like six figures as a teenager. That shit was Dude. tight. I remember we were uh, getting out of high school and uh, going into college. I had this real rich friend um, that was going to like this super crazy school and wouldn't go to our like regular poor high school. He was like, "Nah, dude, I, my mom's making me go to like cool high school. And uh, he made an app and then everybody was just like, oh, it's a fucking app. app and then like they spent like a million dollars and shit and like developed this app. And I still don't know what the fuck it was supposed to do, but nothing ever came of it. And it was just like he spent so many years like working on this app. And then this is like everybody creates an app now. Yeah. Like nobody even cares. Wow. It sucks. Hmm. Well, any app makers in the chat. Fuck you. Insane. Is the moral man. of that story, I guess. All right. Well, we logically have to do this article next. Um, ripped squirrel with six pack goes viral, but eagle eyed viewers stunned to spot even bigger bulge. That boy right there, it's, it's Big Balls Brandon, it's Testicle Tony right there, he is hanging him, and you see the uh, the six pack and the pectoral abs that he's got to accompany those big balls. Why is he standing like that? What a Chad squirrel, dude, just surveilling. What you doing if he slapped your girlfriend on the ass, man? <laughs> That's his girl God. now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, uh, what the fuck, asks Colorful Wonders. Hey, we're just here to report the news, okay? Uh, I don't know, the squirrel's gigantic tes testicles and testosterone-fueled rage here, uh, <laughs> that's not my problem. He will probably <laughs> rip the fucking fabric out of any female squirrel he encounters, man. I don't think he's normal, <laughs> they dude. need to neuter that thing. Sister. Yeah, I don't think he regular. No, he, well, I guess the only reason to neuter him is so he doesn't pass on his... Um, extremely <laughs> aggressive genes. This would happen if you eat too many fried towels and you yeah. start to ingest those steroids. Then you turn into one of these strong squirrels. I love that this got a whole article written about it. Someone was, someone out there in the world was like, oh shit, nut squirrel. And then the media was like, nut squirrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think a t-shirt should be made out of this. <laughs> He's go. that dude. You want nut squirrel merch, anyone? Anyway. Oh, he looking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looking like Mr. Take Your Girl is what he looking like. A picture of a rip squirrel with a six pack that went viral left some eagle eyed viewers stunned when they spotted an even bigger bulge. Sarah Lenshuber managed to capture a picture of the bulky critter outside her apartment in Missouri last week. Bulky. Look at his thighs too. Yeah, like that shit is like a, a Olympic dead weight yeah. lifter's legs, man. Like what the fuck is that? How is he even moving around efficiently? A picture of the rip squirrel was posted. I saw him while out walking. My dog did a double take and doubled over laughing. I wasn't sure if I should post it anywhere, but then my grade school sense of humor got the best of me. Sarah later shared the image on Facebook and got a lot of clout. In the image, the squirrel stay. I le oh yeah, okay. Let's give us give us the play by play on the squirrel picture here. Um, in the image, hold on. I need to put a classy voice on for this. In the image, the squirrel stands upright next to a tree and poses unashamedly for the camera, showing off a physique that people online have dubbed ripped thanks to his apparent six-pack and abs. But eagle-eyed viewers couldn't help but focus on something a little further south, as the rodent appears to have unusually large testicles. His nuts are bigger than his head, one person commented. Another person joked, wow, he's got quite the stockpile of nuts for the winter. Although the male rodent appears to be particularly well endowed, according to National Geographic, male squirrels have a scrotum that is 20% of their body length. Chubsy Wubsy, thank you for that uh, gifted sub as well. Chubsy Wubsy, thank you for that gifted sub. Was it Ari Flux that was always asking about the dick percentage of animals? Because I think this is a pretty large dick percentage, honestly. He's about 80% dick, mm -hmm. for real, man. Um, Yeah, this is a swole ass big dick squirrel, <laughs> man. Big dick energy, yeah. obviously, man. I bet. I bet when he climbs a tree, it's kind of like, you know, when like Goku and shit do that like explosive, like yeah. explosive running start yeah. and it's like, yeah. and then the ground behind him starts right. shattering and After shit. I bet he climbs go. trees like that. Hell yeah. yeah. All balls, no dick in it, says Lil Uzi Can <laughs> Damn, that is true. He is all ball, it looks like. Mm. Uh, but you don't want to, you don't want to test it out and see. That squirrel said ratio, scrotum and dick are not the same, says Liam James. Wow, chat, I'm sorry, I, did, I was, I didn't really think through what I was saying there, okay. 
Huh. Uh, yes, and I'm glad I finally got an answer. Sorry, Flex. I wonder if climbing a tree is even possible, though. Like, them nuts are probably just <laughs> scraping against the bark the whole time. Really uncomfortable shit and just yeah. hurts. Honestly, like, he's not a very well-designed creature with the body looking like that. Yeah. I saw squirrel. My girlfriend and I were out for a walk the other day, and we saw two squirrels start to have... First, we were like, oh, look, they're play fighting. Hmm. Where did it end <laughs> up? Uh... There's a lot of new squirrels in the neighborhood. <laughs> a lot of new squirrels. <laughs> no, I saw two robins kick a squirrel's ass Damn. like two days ago. They fucked him up oh across a parking lot, and I was very pleased. Uh, Markov says poor character design. Yeah, whoever designed that squirrel, the man upstairs, we got to have a talk with him. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, um, to keep the rat fuck prison planet news going, although that squirrel was a, a brief reprieve from the danger and fear of the world. I'm sure that brightened everyone's day. Uh, let's check this out. New corporate fuckery alert. You wake up as the new head of Universal Pictures. What would you do? Asks Universal Pictures on Twitter. Somebody is searching for illegal free ideas. Yeah, free idea giving alert. Uh, we see you, Universal Pictures. It's the, Honestly, it's it's a diabolical strategy. If you're a gigantic mega corporation and you're like, hello, consumers of our content for money, would any of you like to have the opportunity of giving us ideas for free for every one person who's like, hey, wait a second, you're a big corporation. There's going to be 50 people who are like, all right, I've actually waited my entire life for this moment. <laughs> right. I have a notebook written down of great ideas I would like to pitch for you for free. So honestly, it's... Um, Diabolical corporate method, but it fucking works. Mm-hmm. It works. I wish we as a uh, uh, as a society sometimes would be able to see through these things and like go ahead and give the old reversal. <laughs> like uh, Universal asked for like a good movie. Everybody just say like really, really terrible yeah. shitty movies or agree on one really mediocre mid movie. And then Universal's like, <laughs> got them boys. Got Time em. to make this into a $30 billion budget. Lame. And they make a terrible movie. Lame James just suggested multi-million dollar budget for sex movies, which I know that was a joke, but it honestly got me thinking, have there ever been any extremely high budget sex movies that are like explicitly porn movies that are like man- millions of dollars? I'm actually going to What about this those right movies? Uh, they had the NC-17 rating. Remember that rating back when we were kids? High they don't really have it anymore. Budget porno. NC-17. I remember I saw that... Uh, on a commercial one time, and I was like, what the fuck is NC-17? Oh, my and, God. Uh, it was m- murder and porn. Oh, these ones are not that expensive. Okay, so Conquest was fifteen or uh, $150,000. Oh, Flashpoint X was $220,000. Nah, they, they're, not, they're not spending a million dollars on the fuck movies, man. Fashionistas was half a million dollars. Oh, this looks... F- oh, my God. Uh, oh, wow. Pirates... A Fifty Shades of, of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. That's probably the closest we'll get to a, a multi-million dollar. That sex was a movie. fuck movie, honestly. But Pirates, two thousand five, a X-rated knockoff of Pirates of the Caribbean, was a million dollars. Wow. Uninhibited was one point two million. What the hell is this? Where where are they getting the investment for these type of movies? Uh, Wait, that's what I wondered. Pirates two, Stagnetti's Revenge, cost eight million dollars. The sequel to the earlier Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Is there a a uh, 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 a safe for work cover that we can look yeah. at of this movie. I would just like to see what the uh, what the cover looks like to something like this. Pirate Stagnati's Revenge, two thousand and eight, eight million dollars, guys. Eight million. Uh, what? The, I wonder what they spent it on. Is the CGI or just Fucking. like <laughs> just the fuck fees were so high? The fuck fees were after Pirates One had such great success. The fuck fees went through the roof, dude. Yeah, I guess so. Um. Yeah, eight eight millions of just fuckings is what I thought. Uh, damn, that's some expensive fucking man. Yeah, that was two thousand eight. Surely there was more expensive ones. Hold on, let me just take one more look here. Um, damn. Well, uh, I'm, uh, those are probably the highest paid uh, porn actresses that you can find right now. Oh my now. god, I cannot show this shit on stream. Eight million dollars for one movie? There are so many boobs out on screen right now. I'm gonna gotta put this shit away. Yeah, put it up, man. All right, I put it away. Tuck tuck those titties in. Anyway, $1 million for each of the eight characters. <laughs> There's yes. a link in the chat. 
Eight mil on treasure chest and booty. Yes. Gotta watch this with Different the lady movie. later. Says live from the club. Someone please review. I was gonna say let's do movie night where we watch Pirates 2, but uh, it has to be available on Amazon Prime, and something tells me that it's probably not, honestly. Sake is so Sanabashi in the chat. Why'd you just say Mario Bros. <laughs> the movie? Like, what is that in reference to? You just... You just said that? <laughs> that was the most expensive fuck movie of all time. <laughs> Why did you say that one? Damn, let me hold on. Let me look up uh, Mario Bros. Live it was a action. fuck, but it wasn't the type of fuck that we're thinking of. It was uh, just fuck us out of $20 of watching it. And that was what it was. Uh, Jesus Christ, it cost the Mario Bros. Please don't tell me it cost more than $10 million. $48 million. Oh, my God. Do you know what you could do with forty-eight million dollars? This not the Mario Bros. Make movie? at least four Pirates Two fuck food movies. Oh my god, dog! You man, forty-eight million on that movie? Wow, this was a bad movie. It was confusing. It wasn't even. It wasn't even bad enough to figure out. You were just confused yeah. the entire time as to what you were watching. Was, I was just like, this was forty-eight million dollars of nineteen ninety-three money. Too. Which is the equivalent of a hundred million dollars now. <laughs> it's equivalent of ten billion dollars in current by current inflation. Um, Damn, that movie dog. scared me, dude. Me too. That was a fever dream of a movie. Like you felt like you were safe watching them. Like oh, Mario Brothers, I know them. And then it was like this fucking Blade Runner cyberpunk dark as dark fuck. Mario movie. That shit was, it was crazy. All it was all urban. There had not even been a Mario Brothers game yet. That they went to like a downtown city and yeah. were like running through crack alleys and all type of shit. Like it yeah. was really dark and really scary. And I I regret that I saw it as a kid. Yeah, that was that was actually really scary. Bowser was on that scary shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was on that shit for real. Yeah, I just remember yeah. slimy eggs cracking and there's like that alien yeah, slime. There was so much slime and I was like, what um. The fuck is this? There's a lot of slime and like steam. That's yes. all I remember Slime about the movie. Slime steam and, and city and black lights God, and shit. I, I was hated like, what that is movie, man. Bowser hair in the movie was litty, though. It's just Cassie Chase. That is true. All right. Uh, Devin Disgusting. Walker says, it had everything. Mushroom stuff, a city, the mob. Yeah, everything we expect in, in the Mario Brothers franchise. Maybe I got to watch that again as an adult on shrooms and see what it's like. Should we watch that for Mystery School Movie Night chat? Would you all like to watch the Mario Brothers movie? What? Yeah. Also, what Nintendo executive did they do just a mountain full of blow with? And they were like, oh, yeah, guys, just do whatever you want, man. It's fine. And then they check back at the premiere of that shit. Seriously, Nintendo wow. usually doesn't allow you to, like, alter their characters or their, like, initial storylines at all. Nintendo is very strict. They don't let yeah. you change shit or, like, re-update it and re-rock it. That's why Mario looked the same since fucking <laughs> 1970, man. Right. And I'm surprised they let that movie slip through the cracks. Yeah, agreed. Let's well, let's bring back Mystery School Movie Night. It's been a long time coming. We'll do it on this channel. Maybe? Wait, are you doing anything this weekend? Uh, No, no. Let's do, let's do a movie night, man. That might be tight. Chat, you all want to come to movie night? Yeah, if we watch watching Mario Brothers, I'm in. All right, well, uh, question mark Discord. Make sure you're in the Mystery School Discord for updates about the movie night. Oh, my God, my Discord has been in the fucking voice chat this entire time. <laughs> oh my my phone is about to die. Mandela effect. That That's true. All right, let's keep it moving. We have no method watch today, surprisingly. Uh, let me actually double check here. No one submitted at all. There's one method. Is there one crime? There is technically one method. Um, okay. Damn, okay. Also, last call, if someone, if we hit, oh, this was the old uh, outro music for the stream. Yes, it was. Anybody remember that? Any season two, season two, season three uh, veterans in the chat? Yes. Any veterans? Anyone veterans. here? Anyone here remember those days when we used to be in the same room? Dude, we, wow. we definitely look like we're still in the same room. We are. Who said we're not? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we are in the same room. But we got uh, 19 minutes left to unlock Sudden Death tonight. If we don't hit it, it's the podcast episode. We're okay with that. You know, we're, we're, we swing both ways. The, the yeah. music stream, the podcast stream. It is what it is. It's we're, fine. We're, we're by Streamal, you know. Stanky boogie. What the hell? Okay, anyway. Drug war veteran here. This is a lockster. True. True. Anyway, I serve my country. So <laughs> not by Den of Jesus. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Let's keep going. We got time for some more rad fuck news here. Although there is a very truncated method watch. Um, Amazon's latest euphemism for overworked workers is industrial athlete. That's right. It's tonight's title article. Um, real mega mind giga chad take here. Uh, yeah. Yes. Thanks, Amazon. 
Yes, yes, yes. All my Amazon industrial athletes. And no, this does not mean you do parkour in downtown urban areas or you are, you know, lifting up heavy steel beams and shit in truck yards. You are just a regular Amazon employee. Yeah. Uh, that is some sinister shit, man, to, to misdirect away from. Oh, yeah, we're treating our workers like shit uh, just to give them a cool name. Like, oh no, they're not underemployed, un under underpaid servants of capitalism. They're the industrial athletes of the world. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's getting crazier and scarier every day, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um, maybe we uh, let's take a little look and see what they were thinking when they came up with this heinous yeah, let's title here. Let's see what happened. Amazon tells its warehouse workers <clears throat> not to see themselves as overworked cogs in a huge soul-crushing machine, but as industrial athletes and to prepare their bodies for that experience. Oh, God. Such as someone training for a sporting event, according to a pamphlet <laughs> obtained by Motherboard. These people just apply for a job God. supposed to be in a stock room, man. They didn't want to go to the Olympics. The comparison is a disturbing euphemism for a company whose employees have nearly double the number of serious injuries as the rest of the warehouse <laughs> industry and are repeatedly, reportedly often unable to use the toilet, just like oh, real athletes. No. See, oh, yeah. chat, you know, you're not... Anyway, you're just... Because if you just did some workouts at home and practiced lifting heavy boxes off the clock, then there wouldn't be so many injuries and everything would be fine. Jesus. Uh, the pamphlet tells workers that some of them will walk up to 13 miles during the day and burn an average of 400 calories per hour. Oh my it God. It also suggests all sorts of ways to help workers prepare for athlete life, including changes to their diet and sleep schedule and making sure they don't become dehydrated through the day by monitoring the color of their urine. It also suggests that employees buy <laughs> shoes at the end of the day when their feet are swollen i'm losing it man whoa whoa wait what hold on it also suggests that employees buy shoes at the end of the day when their feet are swollen to prevent tightness and blisters advice that will be known to distance runners or multi-day trekkers holy shit wow touch my so, body thank you for the nine month reset sorry i was in awe i'm fucking reading. losing it right now Wow. This is crazy. Huh. Drafted for the Amazon national teams as deep tech. Um, anyway, Amazon's injury rates in 2020 are an improvement over the past few years. One thing Amazon doesn't bring up is that athletes train for an event with a definite end date. Athletes are not competing day in, day out, and have time to rest <laughs> and recuperate in between. Off season? The comparison gets more ridiculous when you consider what a professional athlete's day actually looks like. A lot of time is spent warming up to avoid injury. Training can only be a few hours a day. Uh, read, don't heed, or 10-hour shifts. Time has been made for rest or even naps, and a lot of attention is paid to nutrition. It's safe to say most Amazon warehouse workers don't professional <laughs> don't have professional nutritionists and or chefs that can provide for their nutritional needs. God, okay, well... Whew. <laughs> Scary. Spooky. Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know what to say. We're on an Amazon platform right now, uh, generating a little bit of money for Amazon. So there's only so much that we can say. That is true. Uh, it's but, God damn, dude. That's, damn it. It's dysphoric as fuck, man. Pretty, pretty dysphoric. Uh, please click the hero rat article. Oh, dude, we already talked about this. Yeah, we, we know him. It's we can Magawa. just look at Magawa again. Yeah, that'll nice palate cleanser. Nice palate cleanser from the Amazon yes. Hellscape news Good here. Oh, Magawa, man. Magawa would never uh, force you into an athlete state of training for no. minimum wage. Magawa was tirelessly searching for landmines just because it was the right thing to do. What a guy. Can, Can we get a Magawa heart in the chat like Chubsy Wubsy posted in honor of Magawa? That, let's just cleanse, oh the, cleanse the vibes in here, man. <laughs> uh, good rats is high theory. Let's go. A great rat. A rat that needs to be remembered and deserves praise, man. Let's praise rat. Magawa, everybody. Praise kids. Magawa. Let's go. He did a job. He looks like Splinter. Uh, salute, best rat. Let's go, man. Shut up, Magawa. Okay. Hey, well, hey, you all voted for the hell news, but man, that was actually a lot more hellish than I thought. Crash Fleet, thank you for the two gifted subs, man. We appreciate that. Let's go, Crash. Thank you. Kai Wheat says, God, that thing is huge. <laughs> It's a big boy, man. Uh, if, if they didn't put like a name tag or like a hat on Magawa to let me know, like, hey guys, he's the friendly rap that finds bombs, I I would probably up the pole, man. That would, that's a big rat. That would be kind of like a cool children's TV show, the landmine finding rat. That'd be cool. Landmine finding rat. rat. It's Magawa. 
It's yeah, that's the jingle right there. Let's go. He was a chinchilla in a former life. I've mentioned this on stream several times. I've never seen a chinchilla in person, but there was one girl who I went to middle school with who was really cool. Everyone liked her because she had a chinchilla. That was her whole. The only thing anyone ever really knew about her, that was her whole personality, was she had a chinchilla. And everyone was like, that's tight! I mean, as a kid, it, you didn't really have to do too much to establish, you know, your personality and become popular from it. Yeah, so. that's true. I applaud her. Trap Dad said, my brother had one. They chew on everything. Any yeah, no. chinchilla reviews in the chat? Is that a good pet to have? or No, they're bad as shit. No. <laughs> Those little fuckers like to bark? Yes. Hold on. They bark and bite, and uh, they don't like being touched, really. So they're just what the hell's the point? They're pretty bad. Chinchilla, really like chinchilla. Uh, okay, let's actually take a listen here real quick. We got time. Yeah, but uh, they do look nice, and if you do get to touch it, it's very soft, just like the fur coats. Oh no, I need to hear the. Oh, here we go. Fight for. Bro, what? Look at this title card. Why is this music so like <laughs> unsettling, man? Uh, all stunts. What the fuck you mean stunts? Look at the little fuckers. Chewing the sh Oh! That was, if you saw that, if you heard that at night with no lights on. Okay, they're kind of barking. They don't seem very smart. Wait, give me the bark. Okay, all right, we've seen enough. Yeah. Uh, fuck chinchillas, man. I don't think I like those. Uh, okay. They also take dust baths. Yes, they do. They're from the desert, so they gotta. They they don't take wet baths. They only take baths in dry dust. Uh, okay. Which is interesting. Sound. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Anyway, enough about chinchillas. Let's let's keep it fucking moving. We have an update. <laughs> God, now I'm thinking about chinchillas and stuff. Anyway. We have an update to um, a long-standing saga that we've been covering here on the Mystery School stream over the past year, honestly. This guy was back in the news on the Mystery School stream as of last week after a long hiatus. We covered him a lot at the end of 2019 and into 2020. He's back again with a shocking statement. Bodybuilder who wed two sex dolls is now open to dating humans. Yeah, Yuri. He's back again. Um, first, he got married to a sex doll. Then he divorced the sex doll. Then he said that he was dating a sex doll, a thruple. He, he became a thruple with a sex doll that self-identified as a Ooh, chicken. A and another that was something else. And now, I guess, he's given up the silicone, man, for the warmth of human touch. Well, I mean, it looks like he came full circle, man. And I guess... This could have just been a ploy to get the attention of human females, man. Because, mm. honestly, girls like you more when you're occupied and when you got something going on. The girls hate yeah. a just single fucker out doing nothing <laughs> and nobody else likes them. So, right. maybe this was all just a ploy to get back in the game. Yeah, when you're fucking on two pristine sex dolls, you know everyone's talking behind your back like, Damn, he's such a chad. If only he'd put those dolls away and come wed me. But does a woman want to date him? Good question. Let's find out here. Perhaps he wants a relationship that won't blow up in his face. A Kazakhstani bodybuilder who wed his sex dolls after a whirlwind romance is open to dating a human on one condition. They like his silicon soulmates as well. Okay, so he's not giving up a sex doll. He dropped the bombshell on the UK-based The Dating Show on FUBAR Radio Friday. I was in a real relationship in the past, about seven years, said Yuri Tolochko, who infamously married his sex doll Margo in November after dating her for eight months. A self-professed pansexual, Tolochko can reportedly fall in love with anything from an image to a soul. Hey, I fuck with it, man. Hey, that that's fine. Cool. Mm, yeah, souls. Nonetheless, it's interesting and important for me. In the future, maybe I'll have a real person, but it's important that she or he likes my dolls too, the muscle man said. Make sure there's no tits out on this doll here. The muscle man said. Why do you hit it with man? the muscle man? <laughs> so there is a very pierced nipple here. That's his. Um, I'm still might be TOS. Uh, yeah, just draw a smiley face over it. Uh, so we got just a little bit more here. He took to Instagram in March to announce her replacement, Lola, who apparently who apparently in line with his aforementioned sexual appetites, sports a hen-inspired lower torso. Yeah, they claim he... I'm sorry? She identified as a chicken. 
The doll did? Yes, the doll did, yes. And a hen inspired Lord Torso, is that like physically installed? I identify or? her as a massive chicken, the gym shark described, adding that his inflatable lover's navel has depth and can be used as a vagina. <clears throat> okay, I didn't think Fox News was gonna. Well, uh. Hmm. Yeah, so we've learned breaking news on the stream. <coughs> uh. The sex doll. The navel is deep enough. You know, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Enough. Deep enough. Anyway, dude, I think we need some palate cleansing news. What do you say? I, I, I do. Can I? I don't even know if I got a palate anymore. But <laughs> let's let's try to cleanse it. If it's we gotta still, cleanse something, after. let's clean something out. Something's got to cleanse for sure. All right. Well, uh, how about this one? Your stressed. future sex robot could be hacked and programmed to murder you. <laughs> Uh, chat, if you want to submit news for us to talk about live on the Mystery School stream, make sure to type question mark Discord in the chat and post it in the stream news section. Thanks. <clears throat> Dude. Dude, we have a responsibility to our viewers, man. They post this news. We need to cover it. We need to be real journalists here and really get to the bottom of this, you know? Sure, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Let me make sure there's no robot boobs in this article. Fuck. Yeah, I'm good, man. Right. Let's, just, let's just do it. Scrolling. Um, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> let's just do it, man. All right. Yeah, no robot breasts in this article. Uh, okay, cool. Um, it's the year 2097. You are enjoying the 84th season of House of Cards and your Wi-Fi enabled neural implant when your significant other walks into the room. Sure, she isn't human, but she sure looks like it, and she has that look in your eye that tells you she wants to get a little freaky. You float over to the bedroom on your hoverboard and beginning to disrobe when she strangles you to death with her cold robot hands. Your uh, sex robot was hacked, and now you're dead. <laughs> Oh well, honestly, no, I don't mind this. Yeah, this is actually, honestly pretty cool. I, I, I can fuck with that, man. Baby Queef, yeah. thank you for the reason. Thank you, Baby Queef. You yeah. know, two uh, things that I didn't me. think I would say within the span of five minutes when I was growing up and thinking about what my job would be when I when I was older are: let me scan this article for robot breasts and Baby Queef. Thank you for the seven one three sub. But you know, here we are, and I'm glad we live it. in the future. We live um, in the future. But nah, go ahead, man. This honestly not right. as bad as I thought. Uh, yeah, choke, choke me out, robot. Like, yeah, okay. Let's let's keep going here. There's been a lot Listen. of talk recently about the dangers of AI, with folks like Elon Musk sounding the alarm and suggesting the very real possibility that we may be on the brink of engineering our own demise. Cybersecurity guru Dr. Nick Patterson of Deakin University in Australia has now jumped into the conversation, warning that it isn't just artificially intelligent military systems or infrastructure that could pose a threat, but sex robots as well. Great. Speaking with the Daily Star, Patterson notes that the potential for hackers to target robots designed for intimacy could put users at risk. Hackers can hack into a robot or robotic device and have full control of the connections, arms, legs, and other attached <laughs> tools. <laughs> Those other attached tools, you know. Oh, my God. Um, this could get hairy real fast. It, like, in some cases, knives or welding devices. Uh-oh. Yes. Um, oh, um, yeah. Often, these robots can be upwards of 200 pounds and very strong. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fucking robot is linebacker size, yeah. too? Yeah. Once the Ooh. robot is hacked, the hacker has full control and can issue instructions to the robot. The last thing you want is for a hacker to have control over one of these robots. <laughs> Once hacked, they could absolutely be used to perform physical actions for an advantageous scenario or cause damage. Wow, my God. This could get lit, man. Mm -hmm. If your robot just pull out a fucking mallet or a, a, a small a small piece of rope and just get the... <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I know you enjoy. <laughs> I'm installing a VPN on my sex bot. That's honestly the best course, course of action. That thing gripping, says Heartbreak VZ. Yes, to death. Wow. Yeah, this, uh, 
this this could be a great movie honestly i think that they need to make a movie out of this where all the sex dolls are being hacked and taken over and you know you got your just regular sex doll enthusiasts ready for a night of latex fucking and it's not what you think man the the the, the robot actually gets to doing the fucking instead this time but rest assured everyone at the moment the technology behind sex cyborgs is rather primitive but there's no telling what the future could hold if we reach a point where such robots are capable of lifelike movements and their brains can be tweaked via software updates. It's certainly not out of the realm of possibility that death by sex robot ends up on some unfortunate soul's tombstone. Yeah, unfortunately, it's coming. It's going to happen um, as they get more and more sentient and more and more like flexible with oh, their yeah. joints and their movements. And they gain more and more autonomy in their in their movements. Yeah, somebody's going to hack that shit and it's going to. Uh, it's gonna choke you or it might just turn it's like the 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 pressure of the vaginal walls up too high and it's like oh, extreme and enter, enter extreme mode oh, yeah and then your shit just gets uh completely crushed mm -hmm. transformers so. 2 says Bryophyta. it's gonna what are you gonna do <laughs> suck me to death suck me to death <laughs> <laughs> shout out a uh, brave little toaster out there everybody make sure you watch that Damn, one Yeah, man I just want a sex robot. They'll give me head scratches and tell me she's been proud of me lately. You know, honestly, it's probably coming sooner than we think. Nah, it's coming tomorrow. I think we're very close to seeing uh, sex robots get to violent acts. Hey, wait a know? second. That article's from 2017. Everyone go check on your sex robots right now. <laughs> they probably already got the firmware update. Yeah. They're about ready to choke you now, so yeah. go ahead and check on them. I'm trying to smash the AC from Brave Little Toaster, says Young General So. Man, I hate that movie, dude. I watched yeah, it so many should. times as a little kid somehow, and now as an adult, it just makes me feel it's, bad to think it's about. It's dark, it. man. What a dark movie yeah. for kids. Why adults put us through that as kids, I'll never know, but yeah. goddamn, I'll never forgive you adults. Crash Fleet says, sad these articles won't have a sudden death rap. Sometimes that's how it goes, man. We have the perfect articles, but they just have to sail off into the night. You know, yeah, that's the that's the beauty of sudden death, man. Everything gets everything gets given back to the earth at the end of the day. Maker Greens, after not saying anything for a long time, says Han Solo penis. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um. All right. Uh, this news, the real ghastly extreme today. Pretty toilet humor article today. Nice. It's been overdue. We've been talking about heavy hitting shit. A lot lately so it's time for the lone method article that we have today that mm -hmm. honestly combines all of the last couple articles that we've talked about how you'll see i'm not even bluffing this literally and unironically combines all of the things that we talked about so all of them single method emote in the chat please in honor of the one method the lone method that we have on the stream tonight just one <laughs> what you guys got everybody throwing gamble in there <laughs> You're, oh, you're, you're addicted, go. man. Addicted. I'm going to have to send you guys to help. These robots yes, can mimic have. your crush slash girlfriend slash wife's voices and movements, says Crash Fleet. Now that's when it's starting to get crazy. Hell yeah. All right. Well, All right, um, that's enough. check this one out. Uh, I don't know what kind of method this is, but it is a method nonetheless. Sheriff claims mayor may be behind sex toy drone attack against him. I'm listening. I'm listening. All right. Okay. So Dong Copter is frequent visitor to Albuquerque campaign events. Um, so let's let the video speak for itself here. There he is speaking. Let's get it. Ooh, <laughs> that's a slanging dick, y'all. You see that? It's meat. Uh, I love how he's still just giving his speech too. He's not even breaking character. Does it come back? Wait a second. Let me run that from the beginning. Oh, oh, you they, saw a wiggle for a moment. That bitch said, Honestly, that's a gigantic dildo and a small drone. Look at that woman. The drone is there. struggling to fly that dick right now. That's a, yeah, colossal dildo for such a tiny High drone. theory said, Dropping dick <laughs> Oh, shit. They're saying helicopter in the chat. Um, that thing. Somebody coming. snatched it. You see that fucking oh, assistant <laughs> snatch? God damn it. Get, your, get it out get of here. Cut up by the drone. Grabbing the dildo up. Yeah, what a fucking idiot. You yeah. probably sliced your wrist six times by grabbing that drone. All right. Well, let's, let's see if there's any details here. During a campaign <laughs> event Tuesday night, a drone dangling a rainbow colored dildo interrupted a speech by the county sheriff running for mayor and a man who tried to save it from capture was arrested after he allegedly assaulted the sheriff and staff in the process. Jesus, uh, because it, it is 2021, the dildo drone has its own Twitter account, which captures oh. <laughs> Dongcopter505. Nice. According 
To a criminal complaint filed by the Metropolitan Court, Kalen Ashby Dreyer, 20, was arrested for battery and resisting an officer after he allegedly took a swing at the sheriff when off-duty officers attempted to take him into custody. That was the guy that just tried to grab the dick? This was the guy... No, this was the guy who flew... Oh, he was flying the he drone. He flew the drone, okay, allegedly, gotcha. and then tried to reclaim the drone and punch the mayoral candidate in the process. Oh, yeah, that ain't how it works, bro. You, you, you fly that dick over the mayor, they're keeping it, man. Yeah. You don't get to get it back. But what? how does the mayor tie into this? The sheriff accuses the mayor of coordinating the drone strike. I guess it was a drone strike. He just said drone <laughs> strike. <laughs> Uh, that was the end of the story until the sheriff decided to hold a press conference on Wednesday where he accused the campaign of his rival, incumbent mayor Tim Keller, of being behind the stunt. Those people were planted there, Gonzalez said. They went there. They didn't go over there to have a civil discourse. They went there to disrupt, and they did act out that violence. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's very intentional. Me he too. said it was possible that they were sent from the rival campaign of fellow Democrat and incumbent mayor Tim Keller. It's becoming so distracting from the sound of everything. I couldn't really get my point across. Oh, the sound of the dildo drone buzzing loudly. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll lower taxes. And, oh, someone tried to grab the dick out of the sky. <laughs> Damn. Um, I was trying to answer one of the lady's questions that was with this group of four that were political operatives for somebody. I believe possibly the other campaign. So for me, I was surprised and it was distracting. Um, oh, but then the Doncopter responded. They said... Dreyer did not strike on Gonzalez. The sex toy drone also appeared outside Legacy Church during a recent campaign visit by Republican Mark Moores, who later uh -huh. lost the congressional special election. Oh, the curse of the Dongcopter, of course. This is getting deep, man. This is getting wow. deeper. So keep an eye out for Dongcopters, everyone. Um, I guess that's the moral of the story here, is if you see a flying penis, then someone's candidate for office, or someone's candidacy for office is being interrupted. I don't know. Chat, if you had the choice of... Uh, you know, any any type of uh, sex object or toy to fly over a mayoral candidate's speech. What would you pick uh, if you had the choice? Baldo. I know someone's going to say it. I'm going to beat him The Baldo. It. There's, uh, you could fly a small sex doll over over on a drone. You could fly uh, one of those, you know, those just detached ass rigs. Oh, yeah, just, you know, 30 just pounds like a, of pussy and ass, that like thing. A, yeah. It's like a pussy ass bot, <laughs> and it's just like shaking and a little half cut off torso. 30 yeah, lives. one of those. Oh, flying fleshlight. That's a good one. What was that meme? The 30 pounds, over 20 pounds of pussy. Yeah. <laughs> pussy and ass. Yeah, just a big old hunk of ass. <laughs> the booty blaster. High theory. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Okay, I'm going to post this in the meme section of the Discord because it's definitely oh. not safe for work. Maris with the anal beads. Yeah, you could fly those over the mayoral candidate there. Oh, yeah, the fuck me silly mega masturbator. I remember <laughs> Don't oh, fuck me, silly. Just knock me out of the park. Okay, Chad, this is going in the meme section of the Discord with a spoiler on it. Um, if you want to see the 20, the, the origin of this meme here. Yeah. Uh, you can check it out. I cannot show this on stream, so please don't even ask me. All right, there we go. It's in the Discord if you want to take a look. Uh, question mark Discord in the chat. If you... If you want to, I don't know, just be a part of this. You, you guys like it? Be a part. We won't, we won't force it on you, though. Oh, we got reactions coming in in the Discord here. I'll cop right now. Can't go <laughs> relax. Hey, chill. Uh, fuck me, silly Mega Masturbator for Mega Masturbators. Yes. Damn, no, nah, that's a hunk of ass right there. That shit is just throbbing. <laughs> just a big <laughs> rubbery piece of butt, man. So, you could do anything with that. So think about Orange Man saying that was uh, very evocative. <laughs> you could just get a hunk of yeah. ass and just shake it, it keeps man. your mustache in, too, in the orange filter. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, the mustache gets tucked into the orange. Damn. Why does it say zero tolerance, says Ray J? Let me... Zero tolerance for what? The, the for ass? not getting fucked silly. <laughs> you better fuck this hunk of ass silly or we will call the cops. Zero tolerance. <laughs> oh, the over 20 pounds is the most tempting part to see rhetoric. Yeah, I mean, that's a oh, bold assertion. That's a big hunk of just pussy and ass <laughs> all lumped into one latex blob, man. Well, the gas leak stream tonight, everyone. We got time for a couple more articles. On the uh, Gas Zero Leak podcast episode of the Mystery School stream tonight.
Zero tolerance for you not fucking that hunk of butt <laughs> silly, man. Cassie Chase says, I just put it on my coffee table and slap it throughout the day. Yeah, that's yeah. honestly a good way to use it just as a piece of home decor. Hell yeah, I bet visitors would really like to see that. Get a oh, kick out of that. Boogie Maru said, I cop one of these back in the day. And it's, how do you even, can you look in the Discord and see how you would describe this? Okay, hold on, let me grab this. Uh, I don't know how I would describe this exactly. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh what. my god, I wish I wish that there was like a not safe for work part of Twitch where you could show things like this. Oh my god, just show where is it? How I need you to describe to the viewers at home what we're looking at here. Okay. Uh Boogie Morrow's is it recent? Yeah, the most recent post in the meme section. Oh, it's in the memes. Okay, hold on. What what is that? What is that? Let's look here. I'm almost there. Spoiler. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> ah! My phone fucking died from that boogie Mario. What the Your fuck was that, it's dude? It's like a. It's like a. Okay, okay. Here, I, I, I'll, I'll start, and then you can finish this one off, man. Um, hmm, guys. It's like a. <laughs> it was like a, a wedge of pussy. <laughs> Yo, it's like a door stopper of yeah, pussy. You know those like door stoppers that are like kind of triangular. It's a anatomically correct, like very anatomically correct vagina, oh. and <laughs> appears to be butthole. But it's like this thin. It's literally just like a yeah. strip. It's like a slither of pussy. It's like a <laughs> wedge of just asshole and vagina. Um, wow. Latex as hell. It's like if you just needed a slice, a slice of coochie, that was it right there. It's really an hors d'oeuvre of a sex toy. <laughs> yes, Heartbreak VZ, exactly. It's, it's just a slice, man. Damn, you had one? You purchased one of these? What was the cost of it? That shit look expensive, man. Um, Shit. I got a tab out of this just in case it pulls up on the stream. Yeah, wow. guys. Slither, yes. D-South Honey, yeah. Just a slither of it. Um, If you guys looked in the Discord and just go to the meme section... Check it out. Be the judge for yourself. Uh, let us know in the chat what you think that looked like. But I personally, I'm going to go ahead and say a, 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 wed a wedge of pussy is what yeah, that was, that's... man. It's just a <laughs> a wedge of anus and, and vagina yeah. all in one simple slither. That's the only way we could really describe it, honestly. This stream became so... This is crazy, How man. did this stream become so raunchy today? The Discord was was really raunchy before we even logged on. Oh, uh, it's, it's Mercury Retrograde. Everybody is going retro... Uh, their brains are retrograding. We even had the gigantic ball squirrel today, man. Like, this wasn't planned. It just kind of happened this way. It's Mercury retrograde, yeah. Uh, all right. That's anyway, crap. computer? Computer? What up? Horny check? The horny levels are off the charts. Frankly, yeah. this is disgusting and you should be ashamed. That's all. All I right. I agree, computer. All right, no shaming going on here. <clears throat> I totally agree, from. computer. Uh, Except but, for the yeah. people who just joined the Discord to look at that post in the meme section. We see you. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, go look at it, dog. It's literally like a stick of butter worth of pussy and a <laughs> butthole, man. It's all in one, and it's weird. What the fuck? Wait, this says... This says Afrocentric on it? It says Afrocent... No way. Boogie Maru, do you... <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to try to zoom in on this so it doesn't reveal anything. Where do y'all order that from? I need that in my house for just for scientific purposes. Oh my god, man. I, this is a dangerous game, dude. I, I can't zoom in too much or else it'll. I definitely need. I need to order one of those just for scientific purposes. I'll put it in like a very expensive uh, display case with a light over it and you know a little stand that it stands on. Lacy's. Oh, is that a uh, 1990s porn star Lacy Duvall of uh, Lacy Duvall fame? How does I think I I know this lady, and if that is a complete replica of her uh, genitalia, then yeah, that that might be a good a good buy, a good purchase <laughs> right there. Holy shit! That might be worth the buy. That might be worth the price, guys. Um, I'm a cop one and get her to sign it. Says Ray J. Damn. Afro. They said Afrocentric on this. Yeah, it was the '90s was a different time, <laughs> man. <laughs> 
they were a little bit different back then. We got respect to a legend in the chat, Lazy Duvall. Respect hearts. to a legend. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there are some, there are some uh, adult film, you know, stars that r achieve such acclaim that they get to like hang their jerseys up in the rafters and retire yeah. and just live on the beach for the rest of their days, man. And Lacey Duvall is definitely one of those, man. Wow. She she definitely deserves to uh, retire on the beach yeah. in, in glory, man. Saga Sinabashi says giving Lacey her roses. Wow, for real, yeah, moving, yeah, that's good. Good uh, dude, I don't know where to go with the stream from here, man. This is uh, we don't. That's that's it. We just cut it off right now and we just run away. Let's do a couple other articles that yeah. go that will pair well with everything we're talking about here. And oh, wow, viewership just shot up through the <laughs> roof since yes. this uh, since the slice of pussy came into play. <laughs> Everybody's been subscribing. Thank God. All yeah. right, all right, man. Unique reminiscing in the chat says, "Man, rounded <laughs> brown days." How old are y'all in this <laughs> chat, man? I thought I was the only old person, and if y'all know about this, this you guys, Damn. you forty. Condom World. Boogie Maru bought this at uh -huh. Condom World, right on Newbury Street in Boston. Oh no, they sell this in public <laughs> stores. Wow. Uh, all right, let's do some data news to break down the. Uh, Prevalent horniness in the chat. Check this out. Um, anime, the demand for all anime content grew 32% in the last year. So, yeah, this is some actually interesting data being broken down here. But the reason we wanted to talk about this is because 2020 to 2021 represents the largest increase in people's interest in anime in history. The largest growth in anime new weebs being born in history. I think I know what it was, man. What was it? This is going to be a hot take. I need you guys to prepare. Oh, God. I think I know what it was. 2019 and 2020, I think that... I think it was Megan Thee Stallion, dude. Damn! I'm pretty sure it was Meg because she's the biggest artist ever to, like, daily mention anime like freely and like really yeah, expose it to like the masses like she's the number one billboard charting artist multi-platinum all the time i don't know how many multi-platinum artists like talked about like anime regularly like that Damn. obviously there's been like you know daft punk did a whole anime movie and you know but there's all like types of people heads yeah there's there's artists that have mentioned anime obviously before meg the stallion but as far as being billboard charting and talking about like regular episodes right. of anime and doing I like think cosplay that Megan, and shit doing cosplay and shit i think megan was probably the first and the biggest to really hone in on that uh, so specifically yeah and you know? she um had that partnership with crunchy roll as well for real yeah yeah Damn. i think i think it i think it was meg wow. for, for that 2020 and uh 2019 well Huge controversial uptick. and brave statement to make but dude honestly i cannot find a fault with that at the very least she heavily contributed by showing anime I think she, to yeah, a side of pop least. culture that was previously not really paying attention to that shit at the but least she at least contributed to it regardless i think that this is interesting um because you know you and i we were paying attention to anime when it was like real get beat up interest for <laughs> even get your ass whooped hours <laughs> like if you just acknowledge that you liked it it's like <laughs> you, you fucking what <laughs> Are those some Japanese cartoons you're reading? Like that oh, shit man. was not. Yeah. Now a, a kid born now, or a young teen now, lives in a world where anime is just like a normal, regular normal part thing. of pop culture that people like. But back in the day, not to get old head about anime, but man, I we talked about the anime convention on the stream a lot. You, when you go to the anime convention, there was so much shit, so much anime stuff that you could not see unless you saw it in person because the internet was still so young and it like wasn't really culturally accepted. So yeah. to see the transition from like maybe some other kids on the school bus knew what dra or knew who Goku was to like just anime being it's like so far beyond mainstream. It's just like a staple of pop culture now. It's really crazy to observe and that it's still growing at exponentially greater rates. It's pretty yeah, interesting to me. That is crazy, man. And it, like you were saying, like it was more of a niche uh, interest. But a weird thing, though, that I would experience growing up, too, was like, man, it was it was always a thing that like I always knew like a lot of black people to be into honestly like black mm. people really d were a lot of the fan base for anime oh, growing up that i experienced back man. in the like, day when i was like 
between 11 to 14, the only, like, my only classmate, no, none of my white classmates ever knew what the fuck I was talking about when I was talking about anime. Seriously, yeah. yeah. I experienced a similar thing, man. And the, uh... I guess that the conversation is the inverse on online and in the world. People think that it's the opposite. Yeah. Like, oh no, no. Um, black people didn't uh, watch it or like it or or any of that, or it just started to become cool. But those are the only people, really, dude, that I, I can remember honestly. Yeah, the, when I the, think back, the back flipping shirtless weeb that we talk about the anime convention was the like patient yeah. zero for <laughs> spreading anime in the U.S. Man, talking about like Dragon Ball Z and shit. Literally, like my older brother and his friends and shit, man. Uh, they, yeah, they definitely did backflips off of those like electrical boxes that are uh, in everybody's front yard, those green <laughs> yeah. ones and shit. Yeah. They would do backflips off of that shirtless and, uh, you know, talk about anime, man. So, yeah. Yeah. I knew people who hit real licks that love anime. It's heartbreak me. <laughs> Everyone loves Seriously, anime man. now, man. Shit. Uh, wow. Damn. Yeah, that's uh that that's quite a thing, man. And this is an interesting uh graph for me, man, personally. Yeah. Just being a person that has grown up since a child watching anime and seeing the difference uh of of, of opinion that it that it serves in society overall, man. Right. So this is this is interesting to see. It's man. interesting to reflect on how that shit becomes so mainstream, how some things rise and fall, some shit is around forever, and I think something that's gonna be around forever are i saw some people in the chat talking about it uh oh, hide three says he not beating goku shaped a lot of black friendships back in the day arguing over which really powerful yes. anime characters could beat one another in a fight will be eternal your grandchildren will mm -hmm. be having that same conversation that we had when we were and having it. fights over it fist yes. fights would start over uh you you talk too crazy that vegeta could beat somebody else and then yeah next, Dude, you, next thing you know you i actually witnessed a fight that happened like that i don't remember what characters it was over but yeah Two As if my acquaintances were arguing over what characters could beat the other one, and they started fighting for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he probably stole off his friend just because. <laughs> right. I don't think that's true. No, nope. <laughs> yeah. you gotta rock him. Yeah, One Punch it. Man deaded all that shit. Yeah, we, you know how we feel about One Punch Man here on the Mystery School stream. Yeah, oh One Punch. Yeah. <laughs> Kill it, Let's go. Anyway, man, that is a that's a really anyway. cool graph. Um, I'm yeah. very interested in that type of shit, man. Just because you know something we've grown up with to see. Uh, transition from different levels of acceptance in society and now we see it here which is just fucking crazy it'll probably hit critical mass one day right honestly at this rate yeah shit i mean it's all over netflix netflix is another huge contributor as well i would say my mm. argument outside of yeah. megan stallion is netflix netflix localized a bunch of shit netflix That's true, studios yeah. produces a bunch of anime now um they adapted a couple manga series into netflix anime so you know it's just a normal thing now Oh, yeah. yeah netflix definitely kicked the door in man so yeah, yeah uh shout out to anime being normal yeah. now i guess yeah hell yeah that's tight all right all right man all that i think that's a, a wholesome way to leave off the stream the podcast stream today any other article we do tonight is just gonna be another horny article or a huge rat finding bombs yep. or finding <laughs> guns or finding cocaine that's so all we got man we, we we pretty much need to just probably cap it off right yeah. there let's let's cap it off let's send you off into the weekend on a nice comfy note here great week of school y'all this is fat guy syntax thank you thank you chad thanks for thanks for being here with us for the week it was a great week of streams sudden death is guaranteed on monday so if you're itching for a fix of sudden death just make sure to come back That's on monday right. pull up real quick i want to thank the uh the weekly top gifters here from top to bottom anthony and ripples with five gifted subs each kazzy chase with six laker fan with seven teriyaki with eight House Graphics and 10K Go. Rats with 10. DJ Jazzy Jewels with 12. Bryce 562 with 20 gifted subs. And Slopter Box with 40 gifted oh, wow. subs. Slopter. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. Great week of streams, y'all. Appreciate everybody for uh, yes. pulling up Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Same time. We know it's summertime coming up. And it's the first summertime that we yeah. are uh, exiting a, a global pandemic, right. man. So you could be outside just having sex with light poles or <laughs> making out with random people if yeah. you're vaccinated. So we really, really, really appreciate y'all, you know still pulling up even on a friday man yeah. like shit's opening back up you could go fucking tiptoe through a piss filled bathroom <laughs> at, a, at a strip club yep. man instead of watching the stream you could do but that. 
you decided to come here, which we really appreciate. Yeah, Chad, it really means a lot to us. We know that the world is starting to shift around and we kind of started to find our footing on the stream during the pandemic. So the fact that you still hang out with us after the fact that we're starting to, you know, go into this next phase of reality, it really means a lot to us. All of the gifting, supporting the stream financially, of course, incredibly appreciated. But the thing that we always talk about is if you just come hang out with us, that's really what what matters. So we appreciate that a lot. Big shit, big shit. Well, appreciate it, guys. Um, well, I guess with that, uh, maybe we find a weekend raid to, hmm. to drop everybody off hmm. into, or what do you think? Let's do see. We resume on Monday. I, th I think we should hit it after the sudden death. I love to hit the musicians after the sudden death, man. It's a certain vibe, it's a right? Certain vibe. I feel you. All right. Well, I guess we'll cap it off right there, then, man. Um, end of the week. Thank y'all for a great, great, great week of streams. Hell yes. Um, we've we've had fun. We laughed. We cried. We argued. We, we laughed fought. and cried, didn't we? We yeah. we we fucked twenty pounds of uh pussy and pure ass. pure pussy and ass humped hunked into a <laughs> ham shape shape on a table, man. We did it all this week, y'all. Thank you guys for a great week of uh, Mystery School Street. All right, man. everyone. If you want to rewatch full episodes of the stream or follow us on our regular <laughs> socials, question mark socials in the chat, question mark Discord in the chat to join the Mystery School Discord. I am going to post some updates about the next Mystery School movie night. I might do my own stream on my personal channel this weekend and talk some random shit about life and stuff I'm thinking about and that's just a good place to hang out where you can post articles for us to talk about live on the stream this coming Monday when sudden death returns guaranteed no matter what at the end of the night so that's right we love you all very much hope you have a great rest of your night a great weekend stay safe stay healthy we love you that's right yes peace Peace out, peace out, everybody. Have a good weekend.